Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. What's in your news? A funny thing happened recently. The engineering people at the Queen Elizabeth Hospital on the orders of the National Union of Public Workers, they walked off the job talking about they're fed up and how the incinerator there is going to blow. So they walked off the job, okay? So where do they go from here? Where do they get the money from to get a new incinerator? Let me help you out with that. When Mackie Holder, when Mackie Holder in New York City did what he did, and insulted a congresswoman. He should have been fired right there and then. Mackie Holder should have been fired there and then. When you decided to have a new solicitor general come on board, Anika Jackson, that could have been held off. That money could have been filtered to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital to get the new incinerator that you needed. It's only about $60,000 US. You can buy two. You can buy two. You know, have one outfitted, have one as a backup just in case something goes wrong. So when Mia Motley did that photo op in New York City with Mackie Holder next to her, that was a joke. That was a joke. Sending him to the UK, he should have been fired. Anika, she could have been doing whatever she was doing before. She did not need to make any more money to do nothing. These people, we do not need to see them on no picket line because there's never really a strike in Barbados. They never do anything. Nothing is resolved. It has to be resolved in internally. Internally, like firing Mackey Holder and holding off on hiring a solicitor general and get the incinerator that the Queen Elizabeth desperately needs. And you won't need to see this crap in your paper about a general sent over the pond. It's not a joke. It's not a laughing matter. He should be fired. And Nico Jackson she could have been not hired in that position by the hospital, the incinerator. It needs. It is so simple. It shows Veronica. Help me spread the word about Naked Departure via social media. Subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels.